fucking bring it on. ALS is a, it's a tough disease. It's not very well known. Creating awareness and being an advocate is what I wanted to do. Every August, until a cure. ALS is also known as motor neuron disease. It's a disease that affects the motor neurons in the brain and the spinal cord. Those motor neurons eventually die, so this means that they lose the ability to walk, eventually they, they lose the ability to speak, and finally to, to breathe, and uh, this has a devastating impact on the body. what's going on in your life. It's nothing compared to what he's going through, not only at that moment, but every moment of every day. I'm proud of him, I'm proud of what he does, but I was proud of him before he had ALS. And he's an inspiring young man to a lot of people. One of the hardest things about ALS is losing the ability to speak. I don't want to sound like a computer. I want to sound like me. So to give Pat his voice back, we actually partnered with a tech firm called Lyrebird, who specializes in recreating the human voice from only two to three hours of audio samples. The unique thing about Pat's case is that he didn't have recordings to work with, so we had to go on the internet and find all his speeches and all his interviews, and basically take the audio from those. I guess in a sense it's really because Pat, he gave his voice to the ALS community that we're now able to give him his own voice back. We can't wait to hear what he's going to say. to say goodbye to this computerized voice. It's a strange feeling saying your first words a second time. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like you don't even realize how powerful, how personal and just how unique your voice really is until it's taken from you. My voice was how I fought back against the very disease trying to take it from me. Sorry, I'm not going out that easy. I will make sure my voice is heard again. Guess who's back, bitches? <laughs> so happy and grateful that Pat's going to be able to use his voice again to continue to speak for the ALS community and, and rally support for the cause. We're already working on turning this into a larger program so that if you're diagnosed you can record your voice and use it in the future. That way you will always keep that unique part of yourself, your voice. If you have ALS, it's crucial that you do not wait and that you start backing up your voice while you still have it. Thanks to Project Revoice, I can finally speak freely in my own voice again. It's changed my life forever. <laughs>